Okay, this is a Sony DCR-HC21 video camera from 2005. Right now I'm not using a shotgun mic, but I'm about to put it in so you can hear much better audio quality. And here we go. Okay, now I'm using the Tackstar shotgun mic. Same one I use in all my videos. This is a Sony DCR-HC21 video camera from 2005. This is a mini DV tape one. It is uh, really good. It has night shot mode. And it has these. It has USB 2.0 DV for hooking up to a computer digital video. That is very important. And I've actually used this as like a um, I've used this video camera just as a VCR to play back my mini DV tapes to a computer and it works fine. That's audio visual to go to a TV standard definition since that's all this is. There is a lens. I never really use that. There's a speaker for listening to your video when you're playing it. And this does take Info Lithium P batteries, but actually I do have the Wasabi Power FV100. These are less than $20 on Amazon. The Sony brand of the same thing would cost you over $150. But this one has a three-year warranty and it's less than $20. I highly recommend them. Look, I've already bought three of the three of the W three of the FV70s. These are less than $20, so look how many I bought. These work the same as a Sony brand. Only thing I noticed different is that um, it takes like half a second longer to turn on the camera when you have this. But that is not a big deal because these things work and work really good. Okay, this is uh, the HC21. It has 20 optical zoom, which is really good because anytime with any video camera, only thing that matters is the optical zoom because everything else will make you lose video quality and optical zoom you don't lose any video quality okay there's a backlight there's a display battery info which is very important because you can tell how long your video camera has been on for or how many minutes are left in the battery and this is going to be a lot just to let you know and there is the easy button open this up this is like a 2.5 inch LCD screen let me show you how this works look how much time you're gonna get wasabi power look at this 632 minutes that is over 10 hours 10 hours if you use a viewfinder you get even more which is insane 770 minutes would be like uh, 12 hours, oh wait no, 12 times 6, yeah 12 hours, 12 times 6, 12 times 60 would be 720, so that's 12 hours using the viewfinder. Let me show you, this viewfinder is actually nice. You would not really want to use the FE100 though, because look how big it makes it. But I mean, here is the battery release, push that and the battery comes right off. The FE... 70 by wasabi power is what you'd probably want to use but I mean you can take them all with you just in case now this is from 2005 it's 10 years old this thing was really good though I used it a lot the night vision works you know many DV tapes are supposed to have 25 megabits of video you know like right now I'm recording 5 megabits per second Mini DV tapes are supposed to be 25 megabits a second, and that's actually a lot. Okay, what was I going to do? I forgot. Oh yeah, look, see, like this, it's not too bad. Let's look at the difference and the time that you get. Let's see, you get at least, that's uh, almost five hours, that's amazing. 300 minutes divided by 60 minutes. 60 would be five hours so that's really good the sc small screen helps too okay in the front you get a manual lens cover 
lens cut yeah lens cover and this is the microphone that's really good because you always want your microphone to be in the front sometimes they put them on top but my favorite thing is when they put them in the front because you know when this is pointing to out you want your microphone to be pointing out too instead of on top but when they put it on top that means like it reduces wind like the wind noise and stuff but I mean I still rather have it on top because you know most of the time you'll be inside making videos probably look how convenient that is that's really cool let me uh, stop the video for one second okay I bought this April not April I bought this August 14th 2007 for about $90 at a pawn shop and that's a very good deal today when I was looking at it on the computer they still got these for over $100 used and I bought this when it was two years old for just $90 at a pawn shop pawn shops have really good deals I highly recommend going and nowadays they got warranties which is really good See that's the model number that's cool I'm gonna show you the um, menus because I know you're curious and I hope you like my reviews because I made them myself. Nobody told me what to do. See, look, when it starts out at 2005, the year, and that's when you know it was made. And that's really cool. 2.5 inch LCD screen is just big enough, you know. It's fine for making videos. Now look, they did it like this where it's like a page. I mean, it's, it is touch screen, of course. That's what I'm doing. That's cool. Let's put the FE 100 just so when you watch this, you'll see like it'll show a lot of minutes and that'll look cooler for the video. Okay, see, it's kind of awkward to hold, but I mean, it'd give you a lot of time, so it'd be pretty cool. Look how much, look how much it sticks out. That's almost half the camera. It might be. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna skip past the time. All my video cameras do that. Like every time I want to use a different video camera. It always wants me to reset the clock. And the reason that is is because like every video camera has like an internal battery. And when you don't use a video camera for like a month, that internal battery like loses power and you gotta use the video camera to actually charge it back up. Just thought you might just thought you might want to know that because if you ever wondered why that happened, that's true. Okay, now we're gonna go to this. This menu is kind of crazy. Let's go look at this. Hold on. The different menu, the different picture effects are these. That's pretty cool. Mosaic. This Tax Star shotgun mic is pretty cool. Highly recommend it. But you got to make sure your video camera has a microphone input. And if you're pretty good at making videos, it, you'll know, you will have known, you will have known to buy a video camera that does have a microphone input. Because that's very important for professional sound and videos, I guess. Record lamp, that's pretty cool. You can turn it off or on. Record lamp, when you're recording, it has a red dot and people know you're recording. So that's good for when you're making a video because they know when you're recording. Uh, let me see there is a that might be all the menus I don't know it didn't seem like a lot maybe I just skipped through them too quick I guess that's all for that the menus ain't really a big deal um, the other day, like, uh, let me look, I guess it was March 19th, I bought this for $10 from a guy online, he had it on there for several months, since like last summer, I was supposed to meet him, I ended up meeting him out by the mall, I think it was a Chick-fil-A, yeah, that's where I met him in the parking lot, I only had like $20 bills, so I had to go in and buy some cookies, because that's the cheapest thing on the Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A menu, some cookies, I did that to get some change. I didn't want to go up there and just ask for a tw uh, change for a 20. So I went ahead and bought something. This is from 2001. My next review will probably be this one. 
the DSC P30. That's insane. This does make videos, but it don't even have any sound for videos, which will be kind of interesting to do. This is actually huge too. Look how big this is. Look at this beautiful looking, pretty, perfectly nice iPod touch cover. This thing is like the same size. But this is from 2001. That's why it's so big. Now let me show you this. Night shot mode is awesome. See, this is an entry level Sony Handycam. And they still use the night shot mode. They do not do that nowadays. And the reason is because... I mean, this is a bigger one, of course, and smaller handy cams, they can't put night shot mode on it. That's why nowadays they don't use it. But I'd rather have it a little bit bigger on one part just to have night shot mode. Because night vision is really fun, and that's the whole reason I like Sony. And because I can't leave Sony, because I do have, um, like, all the batteries are comp compatible, so I can't just leave Sony and go to, like... Panasonic because I heard Panasonic does have sharper video kind of tired right now if you're wondering like my last couple reviews my last review I was like dead tired that was um if you watch my review of this I was very very tired in the video this this HC 65 was really good and um when I seen the HC 21 it's pretty much the same as HC 65 this is just smaller and a little bit lower video quality, but it's pretty much the same thing. It does night shot mode and everything else. Let me turn this off. Now, uh, let me look. What was I going to do? Um, I forgot. But um, I'm using the Sony Handycam CX560 HDR CX560. Let me show you the microphone that I'm using also. Let me, uh, this thing is amazing. $33 on Amazon. I highly recommend it. See, the sound is coming out right here. That's why my voice may sound a little bit lower now. Because I'm not talking directly in it. This thing is awesome, though. You should, it comes with, um, the only thing you need to make this thing work is, uh, one AA battery. And as you see, I'm very smart. I use the rechargeable ones. Because once it goes dead, you just charge it. But I charge it even when it's not dead because, you know, if you got OCD, you want to make sure it's always charged. OCD is not always bad, but it takes up a lot of your time, I guess. This thing is good, though. You have to have a video camera that has microphone input. The worst part about this is if you have it plugged in and you do not have the on switch on then your video will be silent like if you got this plugged in your video camera and this is not set to on then your video will be completely silent because it's plugged in but it's not working I did that on my Nathan's N plus party on my Zach TV 18 channel part of the video was silent because of that kind of embarrassing but I guess it happens but this is my review of the Sony DS DCR HC21 from 2005. I remember, I thought it was old, like 2003 or 4. 2005 is pretty cool though, so that's awesome to know. This viewfinder actually comes out, which is cool. It don't go up or nothing, but it does come out, so that's awesome. There is a photo button. Not sure how big the pictures are. It's probably VGA quality. But uh, it's pretty cool. This is an awesome little camera. I showed you pretty much everything there is to know except for this. The DCN is right there to charge it to a wall. That's awesome. But that's pretty much everything. I don't know what else there is to know. There's no microphone input or headphones jack. There is a record and zoom on the LCD screen on the side. Not on the LCD screen. It's on the side. That's pretty cool. Overall, this is awesome. If you had this back in 2005, you would have probably loved it. I mean, I loved it when I had it because it was always like a backup camera and it worked. The best thing I ever used this for is like a VCR to play my videos back to my computer and that was awesome. You use this to plug it to your computer and USB is to get the pictures off. 
Oh yeah, let me look. There is no memory card slot, I guess. I just realized that, so I guess if you take pictures, then I don't know what you're going to do. I just realized that, and that's pretty crazy. I don't even know why you'd want to take a picture if you can't put it on a memory card. That's pretty crazy. That is really weird. Like, why would you want to take a picture if you can't put it on a memory card? And I don't see a memory card slot. I didn't have everything prepared when I made this video, so I just, because I thought I knew, so I don't even think it does have a memory card slot. Pretty sure it don't. If it did, it'd be like in the back. But this is my review of the Sony DCR HC21. I do not have any test videos, but I hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope you like the way I made it, I guess. And um, I did make a collaboration video for my Zach TV 18 channel today. And today's date is March 22nd, 2015, Sunday. I'm dedicated to making videos pretty much every Sunday and Wednesday. But uh, this is my review. Hope you enjoyed it. And I thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just ask me. I don't mind answering anything. Or if you just want to say hey or something, that's cool too. But I'm so thankful you watched this. And thank you for watching. And goodbye for now. We all believe in Zach. Zach is good! He's going to be the best director in the world. Get head anytime he wants. I'll have all his Playboy girls all over him. Get head anytime he wants. I'll have all his Playboy girls all over him. Zach is good! He's going to be the best director in the world. We all believe in Zach. He's going to be the best director in the world. We all believe in Zach. 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 He's gonna be the best director in the world.